Well, uh, when uh, we look at uh, the impact of the Ukrainian crisis, we have to always to consider two different moments. So one, the very short time and the medium term, uh, medium to uh, long term. So naturally in the short term, uh, we have seen countries that are trying to look alternative way, also including reviving all coal plant to provide the cooling heating system that the citizens uh, deserve. But uh, uh, in the medium long term, there is no uh, uh, way that uh, this will bring inevitably to an acceleration of the energy transition. I think that uh, together with the uh, climate uh, concern now, also security, independence is coming as a strong argument for accelerating the energy transition. And also the prices uh, of the fossil fuels today make more convenient to go for, for renewables. Francesco, uh, you make the point that uh, here in Southeast Asia, ASEAN's transport sector uh, will witness an aggressive transition, is how you describe it, towards EVs and biofuels. Can you give us a bit more colour and detail about uh, the speed of that transition and how it's going to be funded? Uh, what we say is that uh, we are saying repeatedly that uh, we are going... Uh, towards a new energy system that will be largely based on uh, of renewables and complemented by hydrogen and sustainable biomass. This applies also for this region. And uh, we say that uh, to stay in line with the achievement of the Paris Agreement goals, we have to triple the investment in, uh, in renewable. So this is a, a daunting task. That's, uh, there is no way to, to think differently. And we also think that for supporting country, the region, uh, to accelerate the speed and the scale of the transformation that is in place, we need to rewrite in some way the way the cooperation uh, work. So we have also not just to work on the mitigation of the CO2, but also supporting country in building their own uh, green industrial sector, trying to work on and decentralize the factoring of, uh, of renewables try to have more actor on, on the ground through the uh, market of hydrogen and others to uh, uh, overcome the risk of dependencies.